Hi, my name's Jodie Hollis. I'm the founder of Cancer Support Angels. Cancer Support Angels is a not-for-profit charity that specialises in helping cancer patients on a day-to-day -day basis. We help cancer patients by way of support groups and financial assistance and our beautiful care packs that we have. Cancer Support Angels has approximately 30 volunteers at the moment and they range from Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland. So we are expanding quite rapidly. At Cancer Support Angels, a normal week is never a normal week. Um, a week consists of so many different things. We have patients contact us that require support in all different sorts of ways. Some patients might require just a chat over the phone. Others might require financial support and others might require something a little bit more detailed like um, they don't have enough money this week for food so we help them source that food. Our patients are Australia wide. We are helping everybody right across the country. So not just here in this tiny little pocket, but yeah, we are helping everyone. Um, part of our week also is fundraising. It's crucial that we do as much fundraising as possible to be able to help our patients. So we do a lot of bunning sausage sizzles. Uh, <laughs> lots of bunny sausage sizzles. We are at Bunnings every month. Uh, depending on which bunnies, we could be there every week. Most months, uh, we have our Cancer Support Angels support groups. Our support groups are open to everybody to attend. Cancer patients, their families, their carers, and their friends. Anyone's welcome. We do have um, limited cancer support groups at the moment. Um, and one is in Berwick on the first Monday of every month and the other's in Cranbourne on the first Friday of every month. However, we do have an online support group that is on the first Wednesday of every month at 7.30 at night and if you head to our website, all the details are there. Uh, part of our support groups, in Berwick we have a community plot in the garden section. So we have a beautiful veggie garden growing down at our Berwick support group and we do also have one at Cranbourne and it's really good therapy for our patients. We find that it's just a, a good half an hour or so that everyone can take their mind off things. One of our beautiful patients, Julie, uh, she's, she's adorable, she's going through breast cancer treatment at the moment and Julie decided to start a plant business in the middle of her, her treatment. Uh, so Cancer Support Angels organised to take down a whole heap of pots for her to start her, her cuttings in. We took down some soil, uh, we managed to get some vouchers from Bunnings so that she could buy other things that she needs. And it just so turned out that it was Julie's birthday the day that we, we went down to help her. So we also uh, chipped in for Julie to have a gift voucher to help her with her medical expenses for her birthday. We got to Julie's house and Julie had, Julie and her husband had organised sandwiches galore, cake, like so much stuff. And we thought we were going for a cup of tea and then leaving and three hours later, <laughs> still there. <laughs> um, my name's Henry. Um, I have been involved in Cancer Support Angels for about four months now. Um, I work within the administration area and also um, the... I also ask companies for donations for our stock that we put into our angel packs. I have been volunteering for about 15 years. Um, being disabled, I have found it hard to find paid work. Uh, so I moved to, I found out about volunteering um, and I have been uh, working since then. Um, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, I had a personal journey with a family member going through cancer recently and I saw Cancer Support Angels on Facebook 
and I approached them, I approached Jody, and um, here I am working for the charity. So it's been, it's been quite a journey. Uh, I've learnt quite a lot over the years um, and it's something that I'm really passionate about. Here's an example of one of our packs. We have men's packs, we have women's packs and we have kids' packs. So the packs have got loads and loads of things in them, which I'm going to attempt, but they are full. They are full. They are full of loads of goodies. Uh, the women's packs have plenty of skincare, some cosmetics, a journal, and um, a bandana, a beautiful bandana. Our men's pack is, again, um, we have a journal. We do have a beautiful scarf, a beanie, a $2 SIM card from Telstra, and we've got some cold tea as well, and a puzzle book. For our kids' packs, we do have a range of different items for the kids' packs. They are books, Lego, puzzle books, colouring books, pencils, and plenty of things to keep the kids occupied while they're probably bored sitting in a hospital. Why did I start Cancer Support Angels? Well, the story's really long, but it's very, very simple. Um, back in 2013, I myself found out I had thyroid cancer. My journey was very quick um, and over and done with really soon. I had surgery, luckily enough I, they got it all and I didn't have to have the chemo, the radiation, I didn't have to go through all of that. But yes, I did go through hair falling out, I did go through weight loss, weight gain, food intolerances, all of those sorts of things. And I, I found along my journey that there was no real support services out there for a lot of the cancers or for cancer in general. Um, if you have specific cancers, there are some support groups, but the southeast of Melbourne doesn't really have a great deal of them. So that was one of the areas that I really wanted to touch on because a lot of people really want to talk to somebody um, and support groups is a great way to talk to people that are going through similar things to what you're going through and not having to do it online. Uh, I didn't want to have to do my support groups online. I wanted to connect with the people that I was talking to. So that was, that's the main reason for our support groups. The other thing I found on my journey was there wasn't a great deal of financial support. Yes, uh, there's other organisations out there that, that do offer financial support and they, they offer limited financial support. Um, and I understand why. I understand that it's all about you know, fundraising and donations, but it's not enough. There's, there's not enough support out there for cancer patients. And, we need to let everybody know that, that cancer patients don't qualify for so many different payments that are out there um, because they're not, you know, in particular categories uh, through Centrelink or, or other areas. So that's where we would like to step up and provide that support that's needed and, and help financially where patients can't afford things. We don't want patients to go without treatment because they've got a car payment due or their rent is due or they've got to buy shoes for the kids. We don't, we don't want you to go without treatment. So that's why we're here. We're here to help and we're here to help you.